and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to this time we're going to be reacting to some Reddit. Just taking a look around Reddit, you know what I mean? <laughs> so first and foremost, I wanted to say thank you. Um, I don't know why I'm talking, to, like looking at the mic like this is you. I should be talking at the camera here. Um, thank you for just the feedback on the last video. The last video I did was this one right here, as you can see. Go check it out if you haven't already. But it was just basically reacting to the best games of 2022 and Star Citizen was in there and, you know, a bunch of other games. And I, I just explained a little bit about where I'm at in content creation right now um, and how I was just, you know, love Star Citizen. I just got a little bit bored of playing it myself. Um, and it seems like a lot of you guys do too. <laughs> Listen, I've said it all along. The, you know, when I make these videos, the majority of the comments were always people saying, you know, I love this game, but I just can't play it. You know, I, I like to watch you play it. Um, and uh, so many people said that in the comments of that video. It was, it was quite, it was nice just to know that, you know, I wasn't going crazy. So today I thought last time, you know, we reacted to the best space games of 2022. Also, if there's any topics or videos or um, articles or anything that you think I would be interested in, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to take a look at it and get a conversation started with everyone here in the community. Um, but yeah, so for today anyway, like the title in this video and probably the thumbnail, we're going to be taking a little look at the Star Citizen's Reddit. It's something I've never done before um, and I thought it would be interesting. Interesting for me anyway. And since I'm not going to be making too much Star Citizen videos, well, Star Citizen videos, as far as me playing gameplay of the videos, I still thought, you know what, maybe not everyone will be interested in these, but there's still a few people out there that still want to, you know, be a part of the community and just hang out. And while I'm in this kind of lull of creating videos, recording gameplay, we can still hang out and talk Star Citizen and other things too, you know what I mean? So anyway, let's jump into the Reddit. All right, so here we go. This is the Star Citizen Reddit. I signed up for Reddit. I've had Reddit before, forgot my email, password, all of that stuff. What's new? Um, but anyway, let's take a look around it. See if other people are feeling the same way I am. Or see what people are excited about. Um, so it says about community. This is a subreddit for everything related to Star Citizen. An up and coming epic space sim MMO being developed by Chris Roberts and Cloud and blah, 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 CIG. Cloud Emporium Games. Um, cool. It says that right there, as you guys can see. So let's just take a little look at this and see if there's anything that pops out. Okay, so first of all, there's going to be a lot of things like this, right? Pictures, vegetation around Lawville. We all know, I mean, it's, I love the little details and the little plants and that now you can pick up fruit and eat it and sell. That's like really cool. I've never, you know, no one's against that. Okay, so <laughs> I just, this is, I haven't seen it, but I'm very, maybe I'll start because I, I never looked at these really that much, but I think it would be kind of cool to do videos on, you know, reacting to these things too. I don't know. I don't want to become just a complete just reaction channel, but it's what we're doing right now anyway. Um, I think tomorrow, I think tomorrow's video, I'll watch this. I don't know how long it is, but I think we'll watch this tomorrow. I think there's going to be a lot of pictures and things in here that's related to this, but tomorrow we will definitely take a look at this. This was four hours ago. So we'll take a look at this tomorrow. CIG is directly responsible for this. Should we take a look? This looks like it's going to be quite a lot of reading, but let's have a little look. All right, we can we can take a little look at this here together. So it was a crisp autumn morning in August 2019. I was sitting at my computer one day playing Elite Dangerous. I still need to do that myself. Maybe one day. Or maybe Final Fantasy. Just enjoying life and minding my own business. When out of nowhere, a wild star citizen appeared. I have, of course, heard all the hype and anti-hype about the game. I was bored with most of the games I was playing at the time and figured, eh, why not give it a try? This is funny because it's kind of the position I'm in right now, but the opposite. <laughs> I, I do love this game, though. Um, I bought my Avenger Titan Star Pack and started the download. Nothing could have prepared me for what happened next, though. I jumped into the verse and spent the next two to three hours figuring out how to set up my joystick pedals and throttle, and then I was off! So... Yeah, I've never had joysticks, pedals, or throttles. I never got that. I I just, I didn't, I I don't know. I just didn't invest in that. Um, maybe one day, but I, I just, I just, mm -mm, I didn't want to. <laughs> I know I need to, I need to. Um, 
But I remember, do you guys remember my first video? I think it was titled like Star Citizen First Impressions or something. And it literally, this is I did the same thing. I spent hours literally in Port Olisar. <laughs> I did you gotta think of it as a new fresh mind never had played the game. Port Olisar. First of all, you don't know how big it is. So to me, in my very limited understanding of Star Citizen, it was massive, okay? I didn't know what was through every door. It could have been a maze to me, and it was a maze to me. And I went out in my ship in that video for the first time, in my Aurora, terrible at flying, which hasn't changed much, let's be honest. And I literally just started spinning. Just, just did circles like this. Just that was basically the end of the video. Someone came and blew me up. That was literally the video. Go check it out if you haven't already. But anyway, I'm getting distracted. I spent no small. I spent no small amount of time just flying my little Titan around Port Arsar and just poking my ship uh, with a stick to see how many different ways I could interact with it. Yes, then. After about a month or so of solo play, I joined Nova into Galactic. The game went from a definite upgrade over Elite Dangerous to something alive and growing. That I do agree with. I said that in the last video. This is a living, breathing organism of a game, okay? You know, it is in alpha, sure, but in, in my mind, it's out. If the game's out, in my mind, it's out. It's, it's just going to constantly be updated and it's going to have tons of different things and it's out for the most part, in my opinion. I've never felt more welcoming, fun, or dedicated group of players in any game I've played. I'm still with them to this day as my hangar grew, so did my rig from Avenger Titan, uh, Starter Pack to the Scoundrel Pack to Exploration, Mega Pack to Origin Complete Pack to Dominus <laughs> That's Star Citizen in a nutshell, I'm sure many concierge people can explain that to you. Uh, it, it has certainly been a wild ride. This is by far the most immersive, most ambitious, and flat out most fun I've had in my 35 years of gaming. Thank you CIG and Nova Intergalactic for the past four years. Looking forward to many, many more. And he has some pictures in here too. You know what's funny about this? I I mean, you guys, I'm sure would agree with me. Unless there's any critics of Star Citizen in here. But this is this is typical. This is basically what happened with me. Um, I didn't join an org. I was creating videos. So I, in a sense, I did. I joined the community, which we ended up creating Murphy's Law Trading Company. So we created our own org. But the same thing. You know, I came in, I spent hours playing. I, you know, the Aurora went on to one thing to another. I found, that's where I found my love for trading, which is when I, you know, I finally upgraded the Aurora to um, a Cutlass Black. And then we grinded out of that. And then we got the Freelancer Max. It was just a little bit more space for trading. And then, you know, the generous donation gift from Kaz, which was the Caterpillar, you know, and all these things. And it was just so much fun. And, you know, as I played more and more over the years, the bigger and bigger my collection of ships got. Hey, this is typical. It's a great game. When it, listen, it's like I said last video. I love this game. I, I just, you know, because it's in alpha, it's not just all, not everything's there yet, right? So progression um, and things like that. It's like you play the game. Right now, we're just testing the game. Uh, that's not what the video is we're talking about. Anyway, let's move on. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these pictures. So this is the guy that was just talking. So he's got, okay, he's got the sticks. He's got the, the foot pedals. He's got a nice, I like this setup. I like this setup a lot. It's very, maybe we do. <laughs> Let me know, like, listen, guys. I don't know how many people are going to watch this video. It may be 100, it may be 200, maybe 300, maybe 1,000. I don't know, okay? But if you are still watching at this point, please let me know in the comments. What do you think of just these videos where we just kind of hang out and we talk about things? It may not always be Star Citizen related. I may do videos talking about other things, but just be honest. What <laughs> is it something that you're like, yeah, you know, I could, you know, I still enjoy watching it. Uh, let me know in the comments because I would appreciate it. And also let me know what would you like to see, please. Let me know if there's any other videos or things you want me to look at. Um, Something that I've seen a lot of big streamers do, which I actually thought was a lot of fun, is doing this, reacting to setups. So if you think that would be cool, maybe in a video, maybe on a stream, we'll have a section in our Discord or Gilded where we'll post all of our setups and we can just look at them and judge people. 
Okay, but I like it. Is that a, is that a drink holder? Is that a cup holder? <laughs> I need one of them. You guys know what I'm like. I always have soda water on me at all times. At all times. Uh, but no, I like this. I like how clean it is. It's very neat and tidy. It's got the APC down here. I have one of these too. Mine messed up the other day though. It wouldn't sh we had a never mind. That's something else. Okay, let's continue. There's more pictures. Oh wait, is this? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize I thought this was his setup and I'm like this is sick and this is pre-star citizen I didn't even notice the pre-star citizen holy mother listen it was sick before and very clean this <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to say what I like, and maybe I... Okay, let's just see. So, I love in the new setup how he's got this big monitor up here. If I didn't have the windows... I have windows in front of me here. You used to be able to see it when I had the posters back there. But if I didn't, I'd probably have a TV there too. Just a display. like Kind of like how he does. How he has... It looks like his guild in things or Discord. I would have that up there. Where I have my setup, and maybe I'll show you guys one day. I've posted it before, but... I, directly in front of me, I have a monitor. And then I have another exact same, they're all 27 inch monitor over here, and then another one here. So I have the three monitors set up. So this is where I game and do everything, and then the sides is where I'll have, you know, other things open, like gilded and, you know, recording software, streaming software, or whatever it is. Um, but I like the idea of having a monitor up here. I was gonna originally get a third or fourth you know, monitor of these size, these 27s, and have it up here, but why am I, I, never mind, let's continue. So, this set I'm changed a lot. So, the one thing I'm very surprised at is the pedals. I would have thought they would have kept the pedals. I thought that would have been a done deal. Maybe they're gonna get new pedals. But wow, did this setup change. Look at the controls, man. Whoo. I mean, they, I know there's a lot of you guys. I know people, there's a lot of people in our community have that setups like this. And I, it, it impresses me. It impresses me. I just don't think I could do it, man. I don't know. But this is sick. I mean, now he's got the surround sound. He's got the same PC, but I'm sure the internals are different. It is a cup holder. <laughs> cup holder's still there. I mean, that's cool. That's a sick setup. I don't know what these are. These look way too detailed for me. I think the reason I've always been against... Even though I have a, a, a steering wheel... I just... It, it, there's something etched in the back of my mind... That this is way too detailed and serious for me. And I shouldn't think that way. I know I shouldn't. But it's just something, it's like, it's like the game Gran Turismo. I could never play it because I felt like, without even playing it, I was like, this is too much of a detailed game. And even though it's the same game you're playing with these, having all these controls just overwhelmed me. It was, it was too much. <laughs> That's why I don't do it. But this is sick. Oh wait, he hasn't even finished! <laughs> oh... This is insane. This is a video based on just one guy's post. So it's pre-star citizen, and then it was just the scroungel pack update, and this isn't even where he stops. Okay, let's continue. How many is the first before I start? Okay, there's a lot. Okay. I thought this was it. This is sick. You're telling me there's more? Okay. Okay, so it moved. He moved. He or she moved apartments or house. Probably because of their addiction to Star Citizen. They had to probably downgrade because it was getting, costing too much. Wow. Okay, so what has changed? Let's have a look at this. So they've added way more monitors. It looks like they have two iPad minis and two... Like, a, like what the hell is this? Are people using like iPad Pros for this sort of thing? Like, this is just too much, man. I love that. I love this. I just, this is, my brain would just, 
That's what always happen. But it's sick. Is PCs like, no, nah, we're on the floor now. We're falling. Oh, you good push cat. Good cat. Wow. He upgraded his sub too from the beginning. Look at the size of this little fella. To then, boom. Size that sub. I have a pretty big sub too. It's behind one of my monitors. It can get kind of bassy in here sometimes, but. Yeah. Um. Wow. So is the monitors are changing. So it goes from it looks like it's been the same monitor throughout too. This is it a Panasonic? Westing? I don't even know. But it's the same monitor. That I'm hey, I'm props for the monitor. The monitor's made it this long. But it's sick. I like it. Okay. Oh shit. Bad man. Okay. So they upgraded the monitor, so now they have two on each side. I love the three setup. I think three monitors is you have to. You have to. And if you also have monitors, it's always a personal preference. But I don't understand how people have monitors where it'll be, they'll come to a junction like this. So this will be a monitor. This is a monitor. And their seats will be facing the gap in the middle of the monitors. So the monitors... <laughs> I don't like it. I think they should always have one in the front and sides. It's perfect. I like this. I don't have any monitors right now that's set up. Like, you know, lands portrait. But... Maybe one day. I just don't feel like I need it. But that's I like I like this setup. It's it gets it, there's more. But wait, <laughs> let's continue. Let's continue. Okay, so this is the finale. This is the grand finale. Wow, can I click on the picture? Okay, first of all, now we're talking. I don't know. I think. Okay, so I'm going to be honest, and I know the majority of you guys would probably disagree with me. Because I know a lot of you have these big ultra-wide monitors that you use. I think this... Let's talk just the monitor setup for a second. Is absolute mwah, perfect, except what I would do personally is flip. I would have the three monitors on the bottom and the big monitor on the top. And I know that doesn't make sense to what this is you're trying to do here because you want more of that big monitor for the game. And then the top you can put individual things on. I totally get that. But for me, I would prefer the opposite just for more of content creation. So I'd have my monitor. So this one here would be on the bottom in the middle. Kind of like I have now. I'd have one in the middle here that I can play on. And then I'd have my all my stuff inside of me. And on the top, you know, I could put other things. But this is sick. That's a big monitor. So let's see what... Maybe it's not as big as it looks. Because now that I'm looking down at the controls... When I'm looking just at the monitors, it looks massive. And then I look down at the controls and look back up. And it makes it look it's a lot smaller than I thought. You know, there's this... You know what I'm talking about. There's this screen, right? Like a wide one that's literally... Like a wingspan. This one looks like it's more of probably, I don't know. But it, it's sick either way. It's absolutely sick. So it's sick. I think it's the same. No, it isn't. It's definitely been upgraded every time. It's definitely been upgraded every time. Wow. Listen, I know there's a lot of you guys out there that are the same. I know there is. Post them in the Gilded. I want to see some of these setups. Maybe we'll do a video this weekend. Maybe on Sunday's video, we'll go over some setups. I think that could be fun. So, look <laughs> at the comments. This is totally un unnecessary and stupid. So, any shop links? <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. Uh, all right, let's keep having a little look here. Derelict concept are from Inside Star Citizen. See, this is tomorrow. I have to do this tomorrow because I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know what this is. I feel like I should wait, though, because I, I haven't looked into this yet. I don't even know what duty of declaration is. It's not even declaration. Dereliction? I love concept art, especially when it all comes together and it's more realistic. I mean, this looks more to me like Levski, kind of, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. This looks cool. I like how there's palm trees now. You know how some games have it like so for a year it'll look one day and then they'll change it to look another way. How cool would it be? They may be doing this. I don't know. I haven't looked at the thing yet, but how cool it would be if they had a crash satellite 
that we all got to see, right? It was like, oh, look, oh, it's not satellite, but a ship that's crashed. And it looks like that for, let's say, six months. And then one patch, they update it, and then it looks like this. People would notice that, and it's such a small detail. I think that's cool. That may be what they're doing. I don't know. I just thought... And then again, yeah! <laughs> that would be sick. That would be sick. Yeah. No, I'm sold. Oh, that is so cool. I need to watch. I need to watch this video. That's what I need to do. And then I'll have to come back to this. Yeah, the idea of building like a colony or a, a you know a town from a crashed ship makes so much sense to me. That's like such a cool like concept. Like having a broken ship that people just live in the hull of. Yeah, that'd be sick. What the hell is that? Is that like a T-Rex on the ground or something? Let's just say, I need to look at the inside Star Citizen. Okay, let's keep going. So here's a, here's another one from Duty of Dereliction. And this is exactly what I was thinking. I need to watch this, but look how cool this thing looks. It's literally like a little town of, of a freaking reclaimer. Look how cool that is. I need to watch this freaking episode, man. This, look at that. I love the idea of that. I think it's such a cool, cool idea. Even when it's in movies, you know, we've all seen movies that have this concept in it, but that's really cool. Could we have something to dim the sunlight a bit so we don't lose our eyesight when bouncy hunting, for example? I agree with this 100%. I've been saying this since day one. I've been saying this since day one. You can never see in front of you. Like in modern day, we have these things that we like to call sunglasses which i had here somewhere that uh, i don't know where they are but sunglasses right it helps dim the sunlight in the future can't we just get tinted windows or something especially with this technology maybe we could just have those windows that when it gets really bright depends on how bright it gets the more tint it gives and it's more you know it just adjusts itself because yeah that's annoying i agree 100 percent 100 percent all right, let's see what this thing looks like. So Levski and Lawville. I feel like Levski and Law. I mean, I guess they're kind of similar themed. Not really though. Well, yeah, they probably are the closest out of all of them. We're just thinking of the Levski, I mean, the business district kind of, I mean, like this is clearly like the business district, right? Like the looks of it, at least. There's more Levski. Oh, Lawville. But Lawville also has the area like where you spawn near the Habs, where the industrial complex or area is that you can walk down to, which kind of is similar. Yes, here that sounds like uh, it's kind of similar, but it has. I've completely lost my trailer. What the bloody hell is that noise? Was I was trying to say like the the outside area. You guys probably can't even hear it. My mic wouldn't pick that up. Uh, but yeah, the, the outside industrial area at Lawville. And then like Levski. I loved the Grand Barter. It was my favorite place in the game. I loved it so much. I've stopped saying my favorite places. Because every time I say I've got a favorite place, they update it and they get rid of it. It's twice they've done it now. So I'm keeping my mouth shut. Okay, that's more like it. That's my Levski. God, I miss Levski, man. This kind of looks like... Um, Grim Hex, like where the, I mean, it looks like Grim Hex too, but I love Levski. I hope they don't make it just like this, though. I don't want to be too picky. But I hope they keep it more in the Grand Barter theme. You know what I mean? With the fairy lights that hang across. And just that really cool back alley, like, not like a... Not like Grimhex. I feel like Grimhex is a scary back alley vibe. Whereas Levski, to me, always felt like a super relaxed back alley vibe. You know what I mean? Like, it didn't feel dangerous. It was a nice back alley vibe. So I hope they keep that theme going anyway. Not, I don't like, like these big lights that are coming down. And these big, like, just, like, industrial, like... Those little stupid annoying lights. Give us the fairy lights back and, you know, some water on the ground. And it just looks beautiful. Levski, I love you and I miss you. Yeah, no. 
No. Why am I complaining? Listen, ignore me, okay? I just, I'm going to complain. I'm whinging all the time. I just hope if this is the Levski one, which I'm pretty sure it is, make it like Grand Barter. Give us fairy lights and some atmosphere and make it feel warm and cozy. That's what Levski was to me. Whether it was supposed to be or not, that's what it was. And I loved it for that reason. This looks too cold. Wait! These fairy lights. These are fairy lights. Now we're talking. Turn, take these stupid big long lights out and turn the fairy lights on. Then I'm... Bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle. Come on. They've... <laughs> Ayo, come on. They've put the lights in. I can see them. Just had to look a little bit closer. Why did you put those stupid big long lights in? They're ugly. They're cold. They make it feel like it's not... I don't like it. I don't like it. This looks like Levski. I mean, this literally looks like just like Lev. I mean, this is Levski. Is this literally... Do we know where this is? Isn't this where you go outside? Is that where they're putting this hospital? Like, you know where you used to go to the outside area for the ground vehicles at Levski? Is that where this is being located? I'm guessing. I like this. See, I like this. I like that it's got, you know, the, what you call, what's the word for that thing? Top. I like that there's a top on the top. Just make it more like this. I don't like these lights. It's just me and I'm being complaining. But the thing I love about Levski is the theme and the atmosphere. So get rid of these cold lights and add the fairy lights. The warm colored fair. This would look so much better if you got rid of this. You don't need this fancier patient's Q thing. You just don't. We're in Levski. Okay. Put it on an old school big box TV. And have it just flash like. You know. But get rid of these lights. These stupid lights here and here. Get rid of these big lights. And just fill it with fairy lights. Warm colored fair. I know it's a hospital, so they want it to feel more hospitally. But it's Levski. I don't like this. I don't like the color scheme. Does anyone agree with me, or is it just me? Welcome to the Mercy Hospital. See, it just feels. It's this is not this not my Levski. <laughs> it's too cold. Like the sharp, I mean, this color's better, but it's not necessarily the color that makes it feel, this color makes it feel cold, this little bit right here, this is cold. But even these, it's the sharp angles make things feel cold too. Sharp angles, it doesn't matter how much nice warm color you put in here. I hope that they don't do this. I don't like these lights. Levski to me feels like it's like I I don't want to get into too much detail because I'm not educated on the subject enough to know. But you know, like if you watch, I don't know if you guys watch The Mandalorian. This is what it feels like to me when you go to those small little strongholds and it's like this this base that you can go to and it's got a great atmosphere and it's just that's what i like that's what i feel like levski that's like home to me i loved the atmosphere of levski this is not levski i hope this isn't levski i hope they i don't i may i don't know i think this looks too much like grim hex which has, that's its own theme leave it i love grim hex too but levski just felt so warm and there was just, the atmosphere was sick. I don't like these sharp corners and bright lights. Give me my fairy lights back. Dim colors. This big ice white welcome to Mercy Hospital. Get the hell rid of that. <laughs> why Why does? The, why do they all need to look like that? I get it's hospital clean. That's why, that, that's why hospitals are that color. But just no. Does it have to be? Can't it be Levski themed? Does it have to be? this please get rid of it i don't like it yeah see i agree with this in the comments right here what are you talking someone said scum and villainy and they were like what are you talking about levski is an outlaw haven not a pirate one exactly exactly that's how i feel about it too you know leave grim hex for the pirates outlaws you know the misfits that's what levski's all about 
Again, it's another. Levski has the most lived in feel of any location in Star Citizen, especially the Grand Barter. I, I'm not the only one. <laughs> not the only one. It is. It felt so warm and homey and lived in and had like this little, not overwhelming, but little bits of smoke and steam that would come out and just that right amount of water on the floor to reflect like the lights from the shops and the lights were beautiful. It was great. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I don't want none of this! What is this? <laughs> the derelict concept art makes me want fossil points for interest. This is con- Okay, we're, we're done with this video today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this little Reddit recap, I guess. Um, let me know if this is something that you're interested in. If you stuck around to the end, what did you think of this kind of video? You know, I was thinking about doing like a once weekly like Reddit recap video where we can just dig into Star Citizen things in Reddit. And maybe in the future, it won't necessarily be like today's where it was just today's stuff. Uh, maybe I'll do it so it's, you know, the best, the top Reddit things over the last year. So we can look at things that are really impactful or, you know, things like that. This one is more just for what's going on right now. But Banu Merchantman White Box. Didn't learn much from that, did we? <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, and my first one million, congratulations. Drake Vulture set to arrive in Alpha 3.18. I can't look away. <laughs> yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Do you like this kind of, this kind of concept? This like just doing like a Reddit recap. I'm like I say, I'm trying to just figure out what to do right now since I don't want to. I see, I'm not saying I'm not going to record any videos for you guys in Star Citizen. That may happen. But I still just want to make videos. I enjoy making videos. I enjoy interacting with the community. I enjoy um, editing them, recording them. And just, yeah, I enjoy doing it. So I don't want to stop doing it. So I am continuing making videos. But they're going to be like this for a while, you know. Um, yeah, let me know if there's anything that you find interesting that you would like to, you know, me to talk about. Leave it in the comment section down below. I appreciate your faces. And I'll see you um, maybe tomorrow. I do. I need to look at that inside Star Citizen. Maybe we'll have that tomorrow. That's the plan. All right. Bye.